In addition to grasslands, the wetlands that dot the prairie are also important for terrestrial CO2 sequestration. Wetlands are extremely fast to sequester carbon because they're wet, they have very little oxygen, they're ideal circumstances to accumulate carbon. So when we restore a wetland or we restore a grassland, the process is put back in place to put that carbon back in the soil. In the prairie pothole region of North America, it's been called the breadbasket of North America because of its agricultural production. It's also been called the duck factory of North America because of the production of wildlife and, and water birds. There are many different types of wetlands uh, f ranging from the large peatlands that we have in uh, the northern parts of Canada and uh, Russia to these kinds of uh, large deep water wetlands that you see around us here to the much smaller prairie potholes where you have water for only a few weeks out of the year. They're all very important to the ecosystem in terms of their water storage capacity at various times of year. They're also very important for various bird life that needs different sizes and types of wetlands at different stages in their nesting and young rearing process. So we need to keep all of the sizes. We can't just keep the big ones. The way that we can uh, increase our carbon sinks is to try to change some of our management practices so that we're increasing the area of photosynthesis that's happening. So things like restoring wetlands and restoring the riparian buffer zone in the grasslands around those wetlands, it puts vegetation back on the landscape that can carry out that photosynthesis process and store that carbon in the soil and in the roots of the plants. The carbon in the soils, once it's stored there, it can be stored there for decades, up to centuries. It's actually more significant to modify the agricultural practices that are impacting the wetlands. We have to stop draining wetlands. We have to stop plowing right up to the edge of them because those riparian areas have important functions both in terms of carbon storage and in terms of nutrient filtering and in terms of water quality protection as well as habitat value. And so the whole range is important. And the one thing that we need to convince people about is that a wetland is still a wetland even when it's dry. I think the goal is to find sustainable ways to harvest our resources and to produce food um, that allows these ecosystems to still exist in a healthy state.